Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this is the Mac Voices update for May 2023. I'm sneaking it in very much late, very much at the last day of the month. I thought this was going to be somewhat of a routine update, and then yesterday happened. So I need to explain to you why Mac Voices may look a little bit different going forward and what happened at last night's Mac Voices live show. My, my usual workflow is that I restart my recording machine, and I've always kept a dedicated recording machine just for stability reasons. I usually restart it um, about half an hour before the show so that everything is nice and clean and you know there are no issues with the recording. I had just recorded a several different things yesterday afternoon with no trouble whatsoever, no indications there were any problems. But when I rebooted, it wouldn't finish the reboot. Tried a couple times rebooting, and it would come up in pieces. Uh, sometimes the finder would come up. Sometimes it would let me do just a little bit before it locked up. Sometimes it wouldn't let me do anything at all. As you can imagine, I went through all the usual trou- troubleshooting uh, options. I even uh, tried I tried disk utility. It reported the disks were fine. Everything was good. Uh, so I ended up trying to reinstall the operating system. Meanwhile, showtime was coming. We got past showtime, uh, past both the pre-show and the regular show. So I relocated myself to another Mac, um, and there's some reasons why I couldn't get things automatically done right away, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, But at the end of the day, um, apparently what happened, I didn't, honestly, time gets by, I didn't realize that this was uh, a seven or eight year old iMac that was my, has been my dedicated recording machine and it's always performed flawlessly, but apparently the fusion drive has died in it. It happened just that quick. Uh, the good news is that I did have backups of the, the data. What I didn't anticipate on this particular machine, cause I really didn't think about it was that there are an awful lot of settings and little niceties I'd put in place over time as part of part of the recording process, as part of hosting the live show process. They were not backed up. And so I ended up having to, you know, restart all of those customizations a little bit later when I got a new machine up and running. Um, but again, the, 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 all the data backup was safe. I didn't lose anything that I've, that was irreplaceable or would have to be re-recorded. So now I'm in the process of figuring out exactly what I'm going to be using as a new dedicated recording machine. So that's one reason that Mac Voices Live is going to look a little bit different because by the very nature of the camera placement and all, I mean, before it was just, it was the way it was. I'd sit down, hit the button and go. But now camera placement is going to be a little bit different. Things are going to be moving around a little as I do some of these changes. So it may not look quite, the, the camera angles may not quite look the same. Uh, some some of the other things may not look the same. Ironically, this happened um, after after the the holiday weekend. I spent part of the time deciding to uh, re, rearrange my studio, get rid of some things, change some things around, add a few things. So that's another thing that may look a little bit different. But that whole operation never got finished over those three days. I was planning to continue it yesterday and maybe, well, it'll, it will continue and things will get a little bit neater. But what you'll see behind me looks a little bit different. It's going to look a little bit different. So there are a lot of factors going on here and it all hits at once. This is a great advertisement for why you need to have backups, both data backups and uh the, the kind of clone backups that will t- copy all of your settings and everything over so that when you restore f- to a new machine, you get your production environment back. I have plenty of backups like that on my main production machines, but I really have just did not have it on this one. So a little bit of a lesson learned on my part because you just you don't think about it, especially I've, I've tried to keep that particular machine as clean as possible with as few uh, third-party utilities and all as possible, but there are still things that require, you know, permissions and camera access and microphone access, and rightly so. They had to all re- be re-enabled, and so yeah, a few one little lesson here for me is that I should have had a clone, even if there was no data within the clone, just a clone of the production environment. 
Um, but also, if you have a fusion drive in your machine, you may want to start paying a little extra attention to it. N again, not that there was any warning, but it, it, it is what it is. Um, but just be aware that when it happens, it's going to happen quickly, and there is literally no way to get back in because I tried three different reinstalls of the operating system. I tried everything. And short of installing the uh, the operating system on an external drive, there just were no options to get things back. So, lesson learned, be warned. As far as the rest of the update goes, there's not a whole lot to tell. The two big things that happened in May, we finished off um, the NAB interviews, and there's a lot of great stuff there if you're into video production or if you're just interested in you know what was at the show. Uh, and also, we have the Road to Mac Stock series going pretty heavily. Uh, so, as usual, I will encourage you to visit MacStockConferenceAndExpo.com, sign up, and join me. Join everybody you'll hear on the Road to Mac Stock um, at in, in Woodstock, Illinois, for Mac Stock. We're going to have a great time. We're going to learn a lot. The theme of this year's event is called Learn. Uh, Mike Potter designated this Learn. And so all the speakers have a little bit different take on what learn means to them or what they want to talk about as far as learn goes. And two days before Mac Stock is the Midwest Mac Barbecue, and Barry Falk was on to talk about that. Definitely, if you can come early, come to the Midwest Mac Barbecue. That's on Thursday. Um, then Mac Stock starts, well, the informal get-togethers start Friday night. Uh, Mac Stock formally starts Saturday and runs through Sunday. Uh, a lot of great stuff. You're, you will be hearing more about it as we continue on the road to Mac Stock. I really hope to see you there because I'm looking forward to it. I haven't been there now in a couple of years, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to returning. So with that, I want to get to this month's support report, but I, as always, want to thank everyone who supports Mac Voices, no matter how you do it, whether you, whether you share our episodes, like them on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Mastodon, micro.blog, Instagram, wherever wherever you see the post, if you like it or share it, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. And of course, supporting our sponsors, uh, the folks who bring you a variety of different services, I always encourage you to check them out. What you decide to do after you check them out is your business, but they're all worth a look. Finally, of course, buying through the affiliate links also helps support Mac Voices because it does cost money, and now I've got to have a new recording machine. So there you go. This month, we had no one at Platinum, but at Gold, we had David G., Robert G., Webb B., and Frank P. At Silver, we had Baz, Craig A., Eric B., Eric C., Bruce E., Cletus H., Barry M., Chuck P., George R., Andrea S., and Daniel S. And at Bronze, we had Max C., Tom C., Brian F., Craig A., Craig H., Clinton M., John M., and Prop P. So I said a thank you before that roster. Now I want to say an extra special thank you to the, the, our patrons. We couldn't do it without you. You are the bedrock that keeps things uh, going here at Mac Voices. I really, really appreciate everything you do. Every single month you help support the show means a great, great deal to me. Thank you so much. With that, uh, there'll be another update, of course, in June. Um, as I record this, we're just a couple days away from WWDC. We have a number of Mac Voices Live shows in the can that I need to get edited and out. We have more Road to Mac Stock shows coming up. We have Take Control Authors. We have a whole lot of stuff coming I'm looking forward to uh, to bringing it to you on Mac Voices. I hope you enjoy it and find it beneficial and entertaining as always. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, Consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com